So a few people have asked me uh, how to use uh, my f the files from my Etsy shop if they don't have a cutting machine. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to edit the files uh, using a different software. So just to start off with, when I did design the files, um, I did design them in mind to be used with a cutting machine, uh, such as the Cricut or the Silhouette Cameo, uh, but some people are using them just to cut out by hand, uh, which is fine. That's great. I love it to hear the different ways that people are getting creative. So first, you just need to select a file, add it to your cart, and download. And then afterwards, you should see something like this. Uh, you'll see the Adobe Illustrator, DXF, PNG, and SVG file. So we're just going to start off with the Adobe Illustrator file. So just double click on that and that will open up the file that you see here. And uh, so then all you have to do is select all and then come over here and then that's how you change the color. I like to leave the center transparent and the outline is now black. So now you can use this uh, for printing. The stroke, I'd recommend putting it to as thin as possible. And it depends on what color your paper is. Um, but I find like a around a 25% gray will print nice and light so that you can cut these out and or use a hole punch and even if you're not exactly in line with the line it's so subtle that even on white or beige paper uh, you'll hardly notice it. If you're using Photoshop it's uh, really easy to uh, just print the designs so uh, all you have to do is just open up Photoshop and then you go to File, Open, and you can see that you can select any of these files. You can select the Illustrator, PNG, or SVG. I recommend the A Illustrator or SVG just because they're outlines and it's less work. So you just select one, push OK, and then here you can see the design is shown in pink. So there's many different ways uh, that you can change the color. What I tend to do is I select this uh, little lock tool here and then I would go to brush and then I would select the biggest brush and then I would just set the color to whatever color I want. So I'm just going to select black and then you can see that it changes the uh, design to black. And this little button, all that does is it locks down. It, it makes it so that the brush tool will just color the image. And wherever it's transparent, it won't color in. And of course, that will work uh, with any color. And you can also do the same uh, with the SVG file. And the only difference, though, with, the, with Photoshop is that you can't reduce the size of the stroke. So if you want to print this, you can't make it thinner, uh, unlike with uh, Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have uh, Illustrator or Photoshop, uh, you can find a lot of free softwares on uh, line. So one of the most popular ones is called GIMP. It's similar to Photoshop. And it's free, and uh, so it's really easy. You just go to the GIMP website and then uh, download it. And then afterwards, it when you open up the file, the program it looks like this. And then you go, and then you can just uh, upload the file. So here you can see it only opens up the PNG or the SVG. So just select SVG and here you can see the pink lines. So I'm just going to change the color the same way as I did in Photoshop. So select the 
um, the the lock for the pixels and then I select the brush tool and I set the size to the maximum and the color is black and then I'm just going to paint the design and here you can see that the uh, design has been changed to black.